Welcome to BMHS, where the building is falling apart faster than the students' mental health. Here the rats eat better than the kids who buy the, the school's lunch, and the concrete walls make it feel like you were sent to prison. And that weird smell you smell in some of their classes is mold. No big deal. But peeing on bathroom stall walls and spitting in the hallway isn't the worst part of BMHS. It's the dress code that really sucks the most. As seniors at Berkeley Memorial High School, we have seen and been through the first world problem of trying to find ways to dress and express ourselves without breaking the dress code policy. Today, we will talk to some students who have lived under the dress code for the last four years and one teacher who enforces these rules with an iron fist. All right, we're here today with Mike Plummer, a typical BMHS student, and today he's going to give us his opinion on the dress code. Michael, how are we doing today? Very good. How are you doing? Pretty good. Thanks for asking. All right, our first question, uh, do you find shoulders attractive? Well, the guy asked me boobs or butt, I say shoulders. It's a good choice, good choice. Uh, what's more distracting in your opinion, the ways girls dress or the way guys dress? Well, it depends on what they wear. Okay, so say a guy wears tight pants and a girl wears tight pants. Which uh, which one do you find more distracting? Well, I mean, if a guy wears tight pants, you know, you don't want to see your old, you know, it's a guy. Yeah. A guy. I get, I get, more I get distracting. Yep. All right, final question. Uh, do you take the dress code seriously? Well, of course I do. All right. Well, thank you for your time. I uh, appreciate you letting us in. Get out of my house. Okay. Do you find your shoulder to be scandalous or provocative? No. <laughs> so you think that rule is stupid of no shoulders? Yeah, I don't think that if it's really going to distract you, then you probably have a bigger problem than my shoulder. That's a fair point. How many outfits do you try on before picking one in the morning for school? Uh, it depends on the day. If I have something going on and I want to look nice that day, then yeah, it takes me like a few tries, like up to five probably like, max. And then, but if I'm just kind of like wearing whatever, it's one and done. Mm. Well, thank you. What's your opinion on the dress code? My opinion on the dress code is that it's not enforced enough and it's absolutely critical to running a good school. We've really gotten away from our core values when it comes to clothes and students' dress and uh, I think that we really, really need to make an effort uh, in the coming years, especially when we open a new school, to enforce the dress code and make it well known in the school and in this community what's expected of students when they dress themselves in the morning. Okay. Are there any real life consequences when students don't follow the dress code? Yes, there are. For example, when students wear tank tops to school. If it's wider than these three fingers, studies have shown that it's distracting. Scientists have proven this many times over. Um, students can't learn when people are wearing inappropriate clothing, they're wearing marijuana leaves on their t-shirts, uh, they're endorsing drug use, sex, all kinds of things that show uh, poor morals on the community. Um, if we don't get on top of this, it's really a reflection on our society as a whole that um, students are leading the way on the path to hell. Uh, are there any safety concerns when kids don't follow the dress code? Absolutely. When we can't see their eyes, um, I have to assume they're a terrorist. Um, most terrorists wear ski masks and for that exact reason. So if a terrorist comes into the school and they're wearing a ski mask, you know, I, I know who I have to go after. Um, hats. When students wear a hat, I mean, you could put a gun under the hat. All kinds of weapons can be balanced on top of the head and covered with a team hat of some type. Uh, it's just, it's really, really unsafe to have any kind of headgear uh, coming through the schools. Absolutely. Safety first. Safety first. Absolutely. Uh, finally, what is your reaction when a student doesn't follow the dress code? I think they should be expelled from school and forfeit their right to an education. Um, I look at it like this. You're going back to ancient civilizations and before, people ran around with no clothes or a loincloth, you know, made of skins of animals that they killed with their bare hands. Uh, before that, they ran around naked. We've come full circle at this point in time. Students are one step away from running around the school naked, and it's got to stop. Well, I thank you for your time and thank you for your opinions. Of course.